a day to break a curse and to talk about animation. I'm Zoe and today I'm going to be talking with Jaime Maestro, one of the animators of Red Shoes and the Seven Dwarfs. Welcome to Kids First and Zoe at the Movies. Hi Jaime Maestro, how are you? Hey, hello. Fine, fine, thank you. <laughs> Red Shoes and the Seven Dwarfs is a very engaging story and it has a lot of good messages. So how was it working on this film? Oh, it was, it was really cool working on that project because we has well, we had the chance to work with Jin Kim, who is one of the greatest names in the industry. And, and every note, every comment had a super high quality. And for us, it was great to, to work in that, in that project. And the, 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 the main theme was, was really, really interesting for us. So it was, it was really fun. Yeah, and I noticed throughout the film, there's like references from Tangled and The Wizard of Oz and Snow White. So which one of these is like your favorite fantasy? Which one of these? It's hard to choose one of them. I think everyone has, or each one of them has a, a very good stuff inside. So it's hard. To me, it's, it's really hard to, to choose maybe the fantasy inside all, all this world and, and that, that kind of things. Was it hard to create the look of Red Shoes? Always in animation, it's a bit hard to create because you have to start from scratch. You have nothing and you have to imagine everything from the shapes of the leaves in the trees uh, or, or the, every character. So, so, well, I think Locus and, and Jinkin team and, and Mr. Hong, they, they, they made a great, a great team working on the on the on the visuals of the of the project. Yeah, and I know I love the wooden characters like the bunnies. Was it hard to animate um those with all like the textures and stuff? Yeah, well the bunnies and the bunnies are the little trees, they are like a fresh air in the animation because they are so limited that you have to think in different things when you when you animate compared with a with a main character or, or a or more complex character like a humor or the or the the well the little trolls the, the the little characters so that was that was really funny working with them really fun so for us it was it was really 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 cool yeah and I love them um like the little bunnies they were so cute and one of my yeah. favorites <laughs> um, yeah and they they have that that little it's like the comedy inside the inside the film so when when you have as an animator you have to animate them it's like uh, it's a great opportunity to, to work and, and laugh at the same time. So that's, that's great. Yes, and I love the look of the whole movie. It's almost modern and classic at the same time. Was it hard to achieve that sort of look for the film? I, I, don't, think, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there are great artists in the, in the, in the film. And, and they know what, what to do and how, how to achieve that, that quality. It takes time, it takes, it takes a lot of work, working on, or around every, every, every single decision, but I, I, I don't think it was really, really difficult to achieve that. Was there a character that you um, really liked animating or which one was like your favorite out of all of them? Well, I, I think, well, Red Shoes was the, the 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 more interesting character to to animate because she has like two different shapes. If you have seen maybe the the, the film, and and you have to take care everything uh, with with her. So it's like her size with this character, but you have to to keep the main essence essence of the of the character when you are animating the thinner. Uh, character and, and and I think she was the, the most the most interesting uh, character to animate. Yeah and I love that this film really shows that beauty is on the inside and I feel like social media and also traditional fantasy stories um, used to show like in Disney princesses are like so perfect but why exactly. do you think this message is so important for kids? I think it, this is a, a, a little step forward like mm -hmm. for the, that classical princess where they, they, they have that stereotypes where, where they have to, to, to have, no? So it's like, okay, there are many different shapes for men and women and girls and boys. And well, that's 
all, for all of them, they are right. So it's like you don't have to be on that on that kind of uh, of shape or, or or well, you you can be as you are. So as 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 long as you are healthy, so that's that's cool. That's all that yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I had such a fun time talking about this amazing film. I loved it so much, and congratulations. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Don't miss Wretches in the Seven Dwarfs on digital and on demand in Home and Castles far, far away on September 18th on Blu-ray and on DVD on September 22nd. Bye, everyone, and make sure to check out some other Kids First reviewers and reporters on this channel. Bye. Red Shoes and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> 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 <laughs>